Welcome back everybody. This is uh, OC Turbo Joe again and uh, this is Neptune 2.0 build log part 4. Uh, I haven't planned on doing a part 4 but um, I just want to go over the uh, PSU cabling that I did myself. Um, let's show you some of the wire management in the back and I guess some uh, final touches of um, uh, the, I guess the whole system before filling it with water. So um, I've already done the uh, Lead test. I use distilled water because I'm planning on using Mayhem's uh, pastel blueberry. So um, yeah, so I did with uh, did the lead test with distilled and it passed. Of course, I had to I had to uh, remove some uh, some uh, acrylic again, but um, yeah, everything else passed. Um, one thing that I found that leaked was uh, this uh, flow indicator. So if you notice where it's positioned, it's positioned before the pumps. And um, there is a slight um, chance of vacuum because everything's being gravity fed and this, this just spins and pulls. So over here where the ends are, you get some kind of vacuum uh, being created. Uh, so there's like low pressure here. So you pull this out, air will get in. It, it'll seep in and you'll hear it go in and it's in, in here too because uh, this uh, flow indicator is only sealed by an o-ring uh, between this uh, G1 quarter fitting and inside there. There's uh, you know plastic threads on this uh, flow indicator, so there is you know a 50/50 chance it'll leak if you don't put the o-ring on right. So I did that, and it still leaked no matter what I did. I don't want to over tighten it, otherwise it'll crack and leak more. So what I did was. Uh, Add some uh, Teflon tape, just on the edge, um, on the edge threads, not too deep because it'll end up in your system somehow when you screw it down. So I did it on both sides, and it stopped the leak, the vacuum leak, if anything, and I didn't hear any air uh, passing through. So uh, what else did I do? Yeah, so I finally made some adjustments and put the acrylic in already, and I put the uh, the L channel here. Aluminum L channels to block the, the wiring in the back from seeing because if I take that off you can see some of the wiring going up towards uh, up towards uh, behind the motherboard tray from the bottom pedestal and you can see my um, my PSU cabling I'm using the HX1050 uh, Corsair PSU alright so last time I, uh, I stitched my cables this time I just left it as, as is and use zip ties only because you know these are, these aren't extensions. Extensions I can do it. I can always take it off and uh, use my PSU still. But since this is a uh, you know just a PSU, my PSU um, once I stitch it, it's fixed the way it is. So if I use it in another system, which I don't plan to, but you know it it won't be as flexible as it's supposed to be. So yeah, and then um, the bottom everything's all in. Uh, rad fans. I got the filter on there, and uh, <clears throat> it might be hard to see again. Sorry, guys, but everything is all tightened up. It's better than before. I re reinforced everything down here. I didn't screw it down because it was already so tight. I just used uh, industrial Velcro, and it, it's not going anywhere. It's like really stiff. So, and uh, so if I uh, move this down just a little bit, you can probably see some of the cabling down there. It's really, really dark, but uh, all the mess right there you see is the all the fans going into a mod mod smart. I'm sorry, mod my toys uh, splitter PCB with uh, two Molexes and SATA. So all all that's already in, and this cable here. These are uh, Molex splitters to go to my two pumps, and this is the Molex that goes straight to the uh, splitter PCB that's hooked up to the PSU. So if I were to bleed it with another PSU, I just disconnect this and I use excuse me, use this PSU right there, like an external PSU to bleed the system because everything's all hooked up. All my power, uh, SATA, 8-pin, motherboard, they're all hooked in and I don't want to power that up. You shouldn't power that up anyway, otherwise you'd fry your system because you don't have enough uh, uh, liquid in your blocks. And yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's it for that. So once when I'm done, 
I can just reconnect it here and stow it right under the, uh, the fittings here. And that's it for that. I can take you around the back just to see if you could get a better view of it. Right, everything's all in. And one thing I forgot to last time was to put the IO shield, so I had to pull everything all apart. Man, that thing, that, that phone is blowing up. But anyway, um, here's my PSU. Like I said, I mounted it with my custom brackets. Uh, well, not really custom, but I did some custom bracketing, if anything. I used a aluminum L, uh, some L channel, I guess, whatever you call it, on there, on top of the thermal take. Um, PSU guide rail, okay, and you probably could see some, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's really, really dark in there. But I did a fantastic job of um, doing the wiring. But let me uh, get off the camera real quick and uh, take the side panel off the other side. Show you the back. All right, so here's the back. All the cabling is all I ever need and only need. Um, this here is the uh, two GPUs coming down, going up. This is the 24 pin motherboard. This is a, a Molex to SATA that I made. I custom made that myself. Um, of course, I doesn't carry this flat SATA uh, power connector. And I've got black and uh, like light blue SATA cabling. So that's the uh, data cable right there going to that hard drive on the side. And like I said, it actually fit. Last time you couldn't see it, and you still can't see it now, but it's in there. Um, that's a regular right angle, uh, right angle SATA connector, and I tried to dress it, um, tried to dress it up as nice as I could. This is only one um, double Molex that I have, and this Molex is powering the six fans here on here again on a Mod My Toys uh, fan splitter PCB. I have extra two ports here. I can use it for lighting if I wanted to, but it's stuck. This uh, PCB is stuck onto the uh, the radiator up top, the RX three sixty. It's like nice and hidden away, doesn't stick out at all. It won't be you know intrusive with the uh, the door when I close it up. Um, this is an XSPC uh, water temp gauge. The the wire, the temp sensor is too sh too short, so I'm gonna have to solder it and extend it. And this goes to the the pump assembly. I haven't done the uh, front um, power reset switches yet. As you can see here, it's still loose. I gotta sleeve it up still and connect it. There's my uh, fill port right there. See that? Okay. And my Intel 240 gig 520 SSD. What else did I have? Oh, I have these uh, ModSmart, uh, I guess, uh, cable routers. They split split them up nicely. Rock mossy, so they're all flat. They're not like bundled up just like this. But I mean, it looks bundled up. But it's really flat against the case where it won't interfere with the door. I mean, I still got plenty of room. I don't know if you can see that. See that? I got as flat as I could, which I'm proud of. This is like the worst part I hate about, like I said, um, about building any system is the back. So if you have a, syst uh, a case that allows it, it's just, you know, like 900Ds or case labs, or even, f even uh, in fact, the uh, Air 540 from Corsair, I mean, you have no problems, yeah, but you're dealing with, I mean, they got an adequate amount of space, but since I've gotten rid of the drive cages, which allowed more space, I've been like looking for places to find stuff to, you know, to hold the, the cables down. But I guess I did a pretty good job, so, I mean, the main thing is that I made custom cables, and there's no, like, excess bulk or, uh, you know, you got those stock Corsa cables in series. That you have like extra molex or SATA that you gotta tuck away. Well, I haven't. I don't have that problem anymore. So, I mean, here's a sample of my my cabling that I did. It's paracord heat shrinkless. I think it looks nice. It's not focusing too. Come on, man. Oh, but anyway, yeah. So I got the same theme as last time. The sky blue or like pastel blue with black and white, just to accent the uh, ASUS theme on the motherboard and everything else. But yeah, this is it. Um, I've got my, uh, what else do I have here? Yeah, I've got an 8-pin coming up here, looping around, going towards the front. And the only thing that's not sleeved back here is this uh, blue and white cable for this uh, yeah, the temp sensor display. But I mean, it's, it's still blue and white, so I don't have to sleeve it. It don't matter much, but yeah, it's really minimal. It's the most like minimal um, 
rear cable management I've ever done. So I'm really happy about that. I don't have to unzip tie like a whole bunch of excess wire, you know, that's stuck to the sides here or there. And yeah, I don't have to worry about like trying to slam the door shut with me, you know, holding the weight against it. And it doesn't bow at all either. So uh, what else do I have? Oh, up there I have the 360s already. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, three uh, extra SP120s on my 360, ready for push-pull. And that's about it, I think. Um, I still gotta make that door. Uh, here we go. Still got this door here. Let me get these cables off. So there's something like this. I have to make a custom grill for it, but I was thinking about using that that uh, the PSU filter again down there for down here, down here. So it'll click again on the bottom side actually. But yeah, I'd have to think of something. But it'll kind of look like that. Of course, it'll be mesh in here. Uh, not sure about this side. Uh, I gotta work. I gotta do something creative. But the the cable is still gonna be uh, easy to uh, you know pass through over here. So it's not like this will block it. And yeah, power switch is available back there. It's easy to get to. It's not blocked. Uh, yeah. So from the back, you see uh, my cabling. Take that off already. Uh, here's a filter, Silverstone filter, 140 millimeter. You can get it off, but it's magnetic and it's removable. I guess it's tight for now, but you can see right there sliding back and forth. So that's the filter right there, and we won't suck any dirty uh, dust or anything like that. And then there's my cabling that you can see from the side, and there's my 240, EX240 exhausting from the back. So I plan it this way, have, having the uh, the loop. Enter the 241st because that's the first place to pull air out from down here, and then it goes to the 480, which just cools more, and it's not going to be as hot from that side to this side. So, I mean, it won't matter. The system will reach the system will reach equilibrium as soon as it goes uh, through the loop, um, you know, like throughout after a while. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I figure I show you guys everything before I fill it up. Um, that'll be a surprise. I like to fill it up on a, you know, with a montage, like I normally do. So, yeah, that's for you guys to wait for, and that's after I get this uh, up and running, and I'll be doing some editing, I guess, with this this rig. So, yeah, I guess it'll be better. And this is it, I guess. Um, there's not much I can do more with this with this build. If anything, I can only uh, upgrade the GPUs, I guess, when Maxwell comes around for Nvidia. I don't know. I like Nvidia now, but. I know there's a lot of stuff for AMD, but yeah, I guess NVIDIA hasn't let me down since uh, I've gone, I've crossed over. So yeah, that's it. So um, hopefully by then, yeah, I have a montage video that you guys can enjoy. And at least now I can enjoy my system. So like and subscribe as always. If you like what you see, thanks again. Catch you later.